servants of Allah, those who indeed who hate the deen of Allah, realize that the strength of the Muslim was due to their Islam, only upon following the way of Rasulullah and the guided ways of the companions of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And in order to prevent that, they recruited those who would undermine these great aspirations and attacked him with false plots and slandered stories to the point that this became widespread amongst many when the nation neglected to care about their conduct, to spread their verses, and indeed teach it to the generations one after another. For Malik ibn Anas, may Allah have mercy upon him, said, the predecessors used to teach their children to love Abi Bakr and Umar just as they would teach him the surah from the Quran. And when the latter generation neglected to follow the path of the first generation, they became almost astray and temptation to spread among them, both the nobles among them and the low ones. The companions are the balance of truth and falsehood. al Maimuni, may Allah have mercy upon him, said, Imam Ahmad ibn Hanbal, may Allah have mercy upon him, said to me, O oh, Abul Hassan, if you see a man mentioning one of the companions badly, then accuse him of being a Muslim. al fadl also ibn Ziyad, may Allah have mercy upon him, said, I heard Abu Abdullah, Ahmad ibn Hanbal, may Allah have mercy upon him, I was asked about a man who disforges Muawiyah and Amr ibn al-As, may Allah be pleased with them. Can he be called a Rafidi? He said that he did not dare to speak against them, except that he had hidden evil in him, meaning in his heart. No one disforged any of the companions except that he had hidden evil in him. And Abu Zur al-Razi, may Allah have mercy upon him, said, If you see a man disporging one of the companions of the Messenger of Allah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Know that he is as indeed. This is because the Messenger of Allah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, is true to us, and the Quran is true. This Quran and the Sunnah were only brought to us by the companions of the Messenger of Allah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. They want to harm our witnesses in order to invalidate the Quran and invalidate the Sunnah. But it is better to criticize them, and they are indeed. Zanadiqah. al Hafiz ibn Hajar, may Allah have mercy upon him, said, An authority of a Sam'an who said, Being exposed to the side of the companions and speaking ill against them is a sign of abandonment of the one who does it. Rather, it is bid'ah and misguidance, meaning Allah has abandoned them. And Imam al Nasa'i, rahimahullah, was asked in regards of Muawiyah ibn Abi Sufyan, the companion, the son of the companion of the Messenger of Allah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And Nasai rahimahullah said, Islam is like a house with a door. So the door to Islam is the companions of the Messenger of Allah. Whoever harms the companions only wants Islam. Like someone who knocks on the door, he only wants to enter the door. So he who wants to attack Islam will attack that door. But will first attack the companions of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Then he further said, Whoever wants Muawiyah only wants the companion, meaning whoever wants to harm Muawiyah, speak ill against them. In reality, he wants to speak ill against the rest of the companions. O Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. An authority also of al rabiah or Nabi Rabi'ah rahimahullah ta'ala. Abi Tawbah al rabiah ibn Nafi'ah. May Allah have mercy upon him said, Muawiyah ibn Abi Sufyan is like the sutra, the sutra of the companions of Rasulullah. Who, who wants to attack the companions? First attacks Muawiyah, and then will march forward to the rest of the Sahaba of Rasulullah. So be aware, Muslim, of making your opponent one of the companions of Prophet Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, whom Allah is well pleased with them, and the Prophet died while well pleased with all of them. An authority of Abdullah ibn Abbas, may Allah be pleased with him and his father. But the Messenger of Allah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, said, Whoever speaks ill against my companion, whoever speaks ill against any of my companions, not accuse him of kuf, just the speaking ill against them, upon him is the curse of Allah, the curse of the angels, and the curse of all mankind. Companions, servants of Allah, are indeed their stations, their stations and ranks can never be achieved and reached by anyone after them. Sa'id ibn Zayd, one of the companions promised Jannah, or the tenth promised Jannah, the companion of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, By Allah, the sight of a man among them with the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, with his face covered in dust, fighting with Rasulullah, is better than the work of one of you, even if you were to live 
the life of Prophet Nuh, performing righteous deeds. Prophet Nuh has stayed giving da'wah alayhi salam 950 years, and only Allah knows how long he lived for, before and after. He says, if someone is given the span of life of Prophet Nuh and performs it in righteous deeds, will never achieve a rank of the ranks of the Sahab of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. For our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, if any one of you spend gold equal to the man of Uhud, it would never be equal to a mud or even half of a mud is spent by one of them. But Prophet Nuh and the rest of the Prophets are greater in rank than the Sahaba. No one is better than the Prophets and the Messengers. After them, the companions of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Defending the companions of Rasulullah is the duty of every capable Muslim. Ibn Taymiyyah rahimahullah said, If a Mubtadi' appears who slanders them with falsehood, then it is necessary to defend them, meaning Mention the merits of the Sahaba. Mention the virtues of the companions of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And these merits will invalidate his proof. But mention them with knowledge and be just. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Loving the Ansar is a sign of Iman. Hating them is a sign of hypocrisy. He also said sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, No one loves the Ansar except a believer. And no one hates them except a hypocrite. Whoever loves them, Allah will love him. And whoever hates him, Allah hates him. And the Muhajireen are higher in rank than the Ansar. So imagine the case with the Muhajireen. May Allah be pleased with all of them. For that, Abu Ayyub, one of the greatest, one of the great righteous predecessors, said, Whoever speaks good about all the companions of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is free of hypocrisy. Abdullah ibn Mas'ud radiallahu anhu said, Whoever wants to follow the right path, let him follow the path of the one who has died. For the livings are not saved from fitna. I mean, the companions of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, they were the best of this ummah, the purest in horse, the deepest in knowledge, the most straightforward. Allah chose them to accompany his Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and establish his deen. So recognize their status, follow their footsteps, adhere as much as you can to their example of conduct and attitude. So they followed true guidance.